Okay, we're going to finish lesson 40. I actually started this problem and then I had to restart the video, so you'll see I have some work done here. So these are some of my favorite project problems in Algebra 2, so I don't mind doing this video at all. What we have to do in these problems is find a variable that's entrapped within the equation, and our job is to free it. So it's kind of like a challenge, mission. So I am going to free the P, because it says find P. So that means that we have to find P. Whenever you have a fractional equation and you're trying to get a variable by itself, the first thing you want to do is multiply every term by the common denominator. So if I multiply PY times 6 over P, I'm just going to get the P's across out so I get 6Y. This one, nothing crosses out, so I have AX PY. Take PY times this, the Y's cross out, and I get MP. And there's nothing to cross out with this one, so we get PYK. And you'll notice right away that we took what's just one P and we made it in, made three P's. That seems really bad, but it's pretty simple. Once you get rid of your fractions, you get the variable that you're looking for. Every term that has a P in, you get it on the same side. So I wrote down. I meant to write down y here, not p. I have no idea why I did that. So let me just erase that and replace it with the right letter. You're probably all looking at that saying, I can't believe she just wrote that. Okay, so we have 6y. We even said 6y and I wrote 6p. So we get 6y equals axpy plus so I'm just adding AXPY to both sides. So I added it over here, plus MP, plus PYK. And obviously the order doesn't matter, because they're all addition. So all the P's are on one side, and what's not a P is on that side. And the next step is we're going to take and factor the P out of each of these terms. So we're going to take the P out, and we're left with AXY plus M plus y, k. So you get rid of your fractions here. You get all the variable you're looking for on one side. And the next thing is you factor out the variable that you want to isolate. And then we're going to divide both sides by all the stuff that's in parentheses. So we have two factors, so we can divide both sides by one of the factors. And I'm probably going to run out of room here. So I'm dividing that side by that. And then I'm going to take 6y and divide it by axy plus m plus yk. This all crosses out, and you get for a final answer, p equals 6y over axy plus m plus yk. And these actually get more complicated as we go along in the book, but this is our introduction to them in Algebra 2. Okay, we're going to do one more problem. This is one, this one's not new, it's just something to try to see if you really get it. So, you can shut off the video and try this if you're really ambitious, and that probably would help you. But if you just want to watch me, I guess you can do that too, because I will not know. So this one again is fine P. So, once again, we're going to multiply both sides, multiply every term, by the common denominator, which is PC. So the P's cross out, so we get XYC. The C's cross out, and we get KP. And then there's nothing to cross out, so we get MPC. We get the P's by themselves, which means we have to add KP to both sides. So we get XYC equals KP plus, we're adding KP to both sides, MPC. We isolated the P's, that's P's on one side. Now we factor out the P on this side. So we have P, take a P out of both terms. So we get a K plus MC. And finally, we divide both sides by the factor connected with the P, which is K plus MC, all over K plus MC. And we have successfully freed the P. All right. So keep that in mind, and just remember um, that tonight we had a youth group meeting at the McDonald's house. All right, that's it for lesson 40.